you know, every morning we refer to uh, the SJX Nifty uh, all the way till about 9 o'clock till the pre-open kicks off. Well, guess what? Starting next Monday, which is the 3rd of July, we will, we will not be saying SJX Nifty is up this much or that much or down this much or that much. We will be referring to it as Gift Nifty. Uh, you know, this is a full-scale transition which is uh, happening from the 3rd of July. That is the coming Monday. You know, the contract will be uh, trading for, I think, 21 hours. Uh, and uh, the uh, sort of product will start trading from the uh, NSC uh, International Exchange at uh, Gift City. Let's talk about this and uh, sort of, you know, get you up to speed with what this means. And uh, as investors, does this, our traders, uh, what you need to be aware of. V. Bala Subramaniam is a Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer at NSC International Exchange. He's joining us right now uh, to take some questions. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Good morning. Great to have you with us here. Prashant, this side. Could you, uh, so this is, I'm assuming you, it's all, uh, the setup is all ready, right? Starting next Monday, Gift Nifty will start trading. Could you talk to us about uh, what is the clientele for this? Will, uh, you know, uh, so uh, offshore clients, overseas clients who were all trading SGX Nifty, they start uh, executing trades or so the order matching starts happening at Gift City here. Uh, or uh, are you expecting many more clients the Indian broking community, etc., to also participate. Go on, sir. Yeah, thank you, Prashant. Uh, so, this is going to be a mix of both. So, as you rightly introduced, uh, so next week, uh, 3rd July morning, uh, 6.30 a.m. India time, uh, the gift nifty will uh, completely switch from Singapore to the gift city at the NSE International Exchange. So, we're going to call this contract as the gift nifty. And uh, we are looking at uh, basically a connect arrangement with Singapore. It's a win-win partnership where basically Singapore Exchange has created a special purpose vehicle company called the SGX ICI, which is a trading member and a clearing member firm set up in the gift city and a member of the NSE International Exchange. So effectively what will happen is all the clients who are trading on the SGX today will actually now be uh, routing the orders through the SGX ICI, the SPB company, and effectively all the matching will move over to the NSE International Exchange. Additionally, right. as you right pointed out, we also have direct members here. So we have close to about uh, 62 odd members who are right now uh, connected to us, who are mostly the uh, subsidiary companies of Indian broking firms. And these are also set up to trade. So effectively, we are going to see uh, uh, a single liquidity pool, uh, less defragmented market. So in fact, all the offshore trading on Nifty will now move over to the gift Nifty from 3rd to 9. All right. Good morning, sir. Nigel on this side. Well, and I understand that currently the SJX Nifty functions for around 16 hours. Now, post, uh, you know, gift Nifty coming, it'll be 22 hours. So, uh, you know, high number of hours as well. Give us a few more details. The SJX Nifty, what is the current open interest? I think it's around 10 billion uh, USD, if you could correct me on that number. I'm looking at the current NSE, you know, the uh, Nifty futures. The total value is around 2 billion. So this will be a big shift. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so basically, the as, as you speak, uh, today the Nifty, uh, the, the SGX Nifty open interest is roughly close to about $7 billion. So yeah. it has come down a bit from $10 billion, which was the peak number. But still, nevertheless, it's a very large number. And as you rightly pointed out, it is much larger than what we have in the domestic market in terms of open interest. In terms of the volumes, on an everyday basis, roughly about one and a half to $2 billion is transacted on the Singapore. So we expect the whole thing to kind of move over here. And uh, the trading timings are more or less going to be the same. So we're going to have two sessions, one from morning 6.30, which will go on till afternoon 3.40, which is when uh, the Indian markets end. And post after that, we'll have a post post session. So effectively, there is one session in the morning, and then there is a second session which starts at around 5 o'clock and keeps on going till morning around 2.30, 2.45. Right, sir. So the entire seven billion uh, open interest will shift uh, to gift uh, Nifty, right? That's it. Okay, and also just give us one more detail. Currently, what is the revenue sharing between NSC and SGX Nifty, if at all? And uh, you know, post this shift, how do things work? There'll be higher cost as well for the National Stock Exchange. So you know, how do they outweigh each other? So broadly, the there, there has been something called a collaboration agreement, which has been worked out in 2020. Of course, the, this is a very confidential agreement between us and Singapore. But broadly, the way it happens is uh, there are two sides to the volume. One side, uh, Singapore brings it through its SPV, and the other side is something which 
NSE brings directly through its member in the gift city. So effectively, the revenue sharing on the Singapore side will be 75-25 in that favor. And whatever we bring directly onto us will be again shared with 75-25 in our favor. So effectively, it's a, a two different kind of uh, basically ratios in which the revenue is going to be split. And this is going to be exchanged at the end of the month. That is basically how it happens. And in terms of tariff rate, it's the same rate for both sides of the members. So for uh, uh, there are again two tariff rates here. One is for property traders and one is for client traders. So uh, if a client actually trades and executes each contract of Nifty, which is basically two into two dollars into say if the Nifty value is eighteen thousand dollars, so thirty six thousand dollars becomes one contract. So on that uh, one dollar is the trade uh, is the revenue or the exchange uh, transaction fees, which is on the client trade, and on the proprietary trade it is forty cents. So that is something which is going to be common on both sides. Uh, sir, besides SJX Nifty or GIF Nifty, as it will be called, are there any other contracts that you are planning to launch? So the GIF Nifty as a series has actually four contracts which has been uh, put into the SJX Connect arrangement. One is obviously the Nifty 50, the main uh, benchmark index. Then we have the Bank Nifty and we have the IT Nifty and the Fin Nifty. All these four contracts are uh, currently part of the Nifty series which will be part of this Connect arrangement. Mm. Any others beyond these that you have uh, in the pipeline? So at this point of time, this is how the agreement is uh, uh, is kind of uh, structured. And going forward, we could probably explore how the partnership can be expanded. Uh, if if the if everything works out well, then we may probably look at more partnership uh, with Singapore Exchange. And obviously, we are also looking at multiple uh, partnerships from the gift city also with other international partners in other parts of the world also. Mm. Uh, just a few questions, uh, uh, sir. That 75-25 that you, uh, the revenue partnership that you alluded to in favor of Singapore for existing uh, co existing volumes, uh, what was that earlier? So earlier there used to be a licensing agreement which NSE used to get directly from uh, Singapore, mm. uh, which is part of the NSE indices. So uh, that is something which, uh, which will probably stop and going forward, NSE International Exchange will be sharing uh, some part of its revenue with NSE indices as well as with our clearing corporation, the NSE International Exchange Clearing Corporation. Mm. Uh, got it. And the additional uh, sort of whatever you get, which you said you referred to the 62 brokers, right, who are directly re re registered here as well. So there the revenue share will be in your favor, uh, That's right. as you said. Got it. That's right. uh, we to grow this by much more going forward. And the term it. of this is about five years with the renewable yeah. clause of one hundred. Got it. Uh, you know, for, for a viewer who is watching right now, a retail viewer, a question which I'm uh, sure will pop up is, uh, you know, after markets close here, will this, uh, as you said, uh, it will start trading again 5 p.m. onwards. Can a, a normal, regular sort of nifty futures traders trade as a uh, uh, gift nifty? So what, what, the, what will he or she have to do? Go on. So basically, the the IFSC is a jurisdiction which has been set up within India, but it is a, a non-FEMA jurisdiction. It is outside, uh, non-resident under the FEMA. But effectively, uh, Indian broking firms can actually set up a subsidiary firm for their proprietary activity. But as far okay. as uh, customers are concerned, I think under the LRS framework, uh, they cannot trade on derivatives. They can only trade on uh, tradable products. So, in fact, NSE International Exchange has also created uh, a tradable, pro basically investment investment products also. Got they it. Got so the, uh, so, yeah. yeah. So, so the answer is no, right? <laughs> that uh, they, they cannot. So, Rich, just just one more question. You know, India is 95% options uh, by, as, a, as a share of volumes, right? I mean, Singapore is, I think, 95% futures. Will you be, uh, I mean, is there any way you can uh, sort of generate inter, uh, sort of in generate interest in the option side as well with this, uh, so, with this uh, initiative? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We have both the futures and the options. And additionally, we also have the weekly options contracts here, which today Singapore doesn't offer. So, uh, obviously, the, inter, uh, the Indian side, uh, more and more volumes will be on the options because I think it is more uh, efficient from a volatility kind of perspective. But again, it's all up to the market. As an uh, market in, in institutional, as a market infrastructure institution, 
uh, we are uh, absolutely agnostic. We offer both the futures and options products. Got it, uh, sir. We'll uh, look forward to, you know, a gift nifty starting the 3rd of uh, July. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll uh, look forward to speaking with you again on that day when the contract uh, is launched. Both you and Ashish Kumar Chauhan, I think, will be there uh, at the location to uh, kick this off. So, more than thank you very much for joining us and giving us a detailed perspective on what the product is all about and uh, what this will mean for NSE as well. well